I'm Ingrid and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we talk about technology, entrepreneurship, and personal finance. So today I'm going to be talking about Gary Vee and his book Crushing It, which I just finished. Every time I read a book, I learn a lot. I'm not the biggest reader, but I think like books just go into depth about things. Like I literally understand social media differently after reading this book. So the first lesson I learned from this book is be the first person on new land. So basically, be open to new social media platforms. Usually, I'll get on a platform after everybody else is already on it, the algorithm is all clogged up, like there's no way to get discovered. So every time Gary Vee hears about a new social media platform, he tries it. He gets on the platform, he starts creating content. It might be a little bit of time lost if that platform never takes off, but generally, if you're the first on a platform, you have a lot better chance of gaining a big following. So another big concept I learned from crushing it was that you have to put in the time and it's okay not to monetize right away. Like for example, if you've ever heard of the Skinny Confidential, it's a pretty big Instagram account and blog. And I think they said that she did not monetize at all for like one to two years. So she was crushing it, creating a ton of content for like two years before monetizing. And for really reputable sites, that's pretty normal. You have to put in a lot of time before you can expect to monetize a brand presence. Gary Vee talks about putting in six hours a day minimum, which I kind of think is slightly insane. Like I'm not sure that I'm really able to do that or Maybe I just don't care enough, but he recommends six hours a day. So if you really want to create a brand presence, put the time in. <laughs> Another big concept I learned is that it does not matter what your business is. Gary Vee, actually nobody knows this, or at least I didn't know this, but he actually started in the wine business because his family had a pretty big wine business and he grew the wine business through social media from $4 million in revenue to $60 million in revenue, which is really crazy that he just used social media to literally like talk about wine with people. Like he would just comment on people's photos and, and tell them about his wine business. And he just got such a big following because he would just spend hours every day commenting on people's photos and telling them about the wine business. Gary also tells a story about a dentist on Musical.ly, which you would think of as like an app for kids who sing. But this dentist makes musical videos about her dentist practice and tries to um, tag her area that she's in. And while she has a greater following that has nothing to do with her immediate local surroundings, a lot of local people actually come to her because of her Musical.ly account. So she was able to market to kids through the platform that they're on already um, and was really creative in singing about dentistry, which I don't think a lot of people are doing. So definitely um, don't think that any business is outside of the scope of what can be profitable on social media. Okay, another major concept is to be as approachable as possible on social media. I just read this and it clicked a certain way for me where I always think about social media as not real life, like, oh, people aren't really real on social media, like, you know. But Gary Vee says, be yourself, be authentic, and remember that everyone is human. You're talking to real humans. Like, reach out to them as if you were just having a conversation with them, as if you were like, hey, I'm working on this business, or I'm building this sort of reputation in my space. And remember that you're talking to real people on the other side. Additionally, he said that stars in our day and age are defined by how human they are and how approachable they are. Like think about like, what's her name? Like Charlie Dimaj, Dim, you guys know who I'm talking about, the TikTok girl. Like she's just such a real person. Like she's a great dancer. She's a beautiful person. Um, where in the olden days, stars were more like untouchable. Like you could never talk to them. They were always on a stage or in a fancy car or surrounded by paparazzi, whereas today our stars are human. Finally, Gary Vee talks about playing the long game. I really needed to hear this. Be authentic and represent a brand that you're going to represent for like 10 years. He talks about like not even expecting to see success with social media for like two to four years. So when you're creating a brand presence, you're really thinking long term and in everything you do, you should be thinking long term. Like, don't be thinking that everything is going to happen in three months because it probably won't. Another cool concept that was introduced in the book is the idea of documenting rather than creating original content. For example, let's say you really want to learn about a space. You want to learn about like photography, for example. Document stuff that you're learning and you can almost get like street credit or just credit from being a student of the game. Like people will watch you learn. People will watch you go about the process of getting better. And then they're gonna like want to be a client of yours one day when you're really good, you know, because they watched you grow and they were part of that process. A lot of people think they have to be an expert, they have to be awesome right out of the gate, 
But in the social media world, it's actually okay to document your process and a lot of people will just be interested in watching you grow. For example, um, Gary Vee talks about this guy who was an architect and he was taking the LEED test, which is like a certification for, I think, environmental friendliness in architecture. And this guy documented his whole process. Like every time, every chapter he would learn something, he would blog it. And after the whole process and after he had passed the test, he realized he had this incredible repertoire of information that he could actually sell to other people and help them pass the test. So his process of learning actually created a valuable business for him, which is really interesting. Another concept that Gary Vee talks about is having your pillar platform or your pillar content. So let's say you love Instagram and that's the main platform that you're on. He says that you should still be on TikTok, you should still be on YouTube, you should still be on every platform of value, but it's okay to have a pillar platform where you're creating most of your content for that platform. And then you're branching out onto other platforms, but still most of your focus will be on your pillar platform. Gary Vee also talks about being the sole judge of your content or of your process. So your mom doesn't think social media is a real thing, your aunt is judging you, your friends, whatever, like he says you can't let the other people around you um, like weigh in on your vision. You really have to be like strong and clear that you're the only person that's going to judge what you're doing. And like if you fail, like who cares, like don't look sideways, don't go off the expectations or opinions of others, just like make content that you would want to watch or that you think is cool. and. Try not to let the voices of others crowd your clear and open space in your mind. <laughs> I really like this one. It definitely helped me. Um, Gary Vee talks about being selfless. So if you're creating content, try to help someone. Try to educate them. Try to entertain them. Try to give somebody value and don't expect anything back. And like after a couple years of doing that, it will come back to you. So basically like once you've helped a ton of people, like you'll be able to sell some product or people will watch some ad that you put up because you've helped them a lot already. So just remember to be selfless and know that that's okay and it might not seem like you're directly getting returns at first, but try to help other people and it'll come back to you tenfold. Finally, I really related to some of the sentiments shared by this architecture guy, the one with the LEED certification project. He was really, really nervous about selling an ebook. Because at first all the content on his site was free and he didn't want to just seem like he was trying to sell people. And he didn't know if the ebook was good enough, if it was, if it was going to disappoint people, if he was going to be like sued for like selling something that wasn't that valuable. I totally have that. I have like entrepreneur imposter syndrome kind of where I just think like, oh my God, it's not good enough. I'm not good enough, you know. And I really thought about it and I was like, wow, I've done so much freelance work. Like I've done a ton of freelance work as a web developer and as a graphic designer. And in a way, being an entrepreneur is just like doing freelance. So imagine like this LED certification booklet that he was selling to people. It's like as if he was going to consult with them for half an hour on LED information, which he knows a lot about and he's already passed the test. So I feel totally comfortable consulting with people and doing freelance work. So that should make me feel comfortable selling something about which I am an expert. So I don't know if that analogy helped anyone, but it helped me, so I decided to share it. And the last concept that I learned from Gary Vee was the power of collaboration. In addition to hashtags and the normal searchability things that each platform offers you, definitely collaborations is one of the most powerful ways to expand your audience. So if you have 3,000 followers and somebody else has 3,000 followers and you guys work together, then you can really expose one another to each other's audiences and that'll be a powerful thing for both parties. So yeah, scary to reach out to people and think about doing collaborations and stuff like that, but that's one really good way to grow. This video was a little bit different than the stuff I usually post on this channel. Um, I hope you guys found it valuable and if you want to see more information about social media or growing personal brands, let me know. If you want to get your free stocks on Robinhood, check out my link in the description. If you are for some reason looking to learn to code, I have a course that teaches people how to build a personal website in JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, which is also linked in the description. Finally, definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Same handle as my YouTube, just my name, Ingrid Zip. Uh, thanks for staying till the end, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace!